Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I just shot this video. It ended up being like 15 minutes. That's too long for you guys. We're going to go over this stuff right here, the MTS cutting stack. A lot of people asked me on last week's video if I would talk about a cutting stack, a bulking stack, and everything in between. And I thought, hey, since I'm on the cutting phase right now, let's talk about what I take to get the results you guys have been seeing, not only on YouTube, but Instagram and Twitter, and give you guys a nice little brief at how it works, empirically tracked with an in-body scan. We're gonna go over each one of these ingredients relatively briefly. If you guys wanna know more in depth, click the link for Tiger Fitness below. Look at the ingredients, the dosages, the recommended usage, and the collegiate study that proves why all of these work, not just smoke and mirrors and snake oils like those other companies. So we're gonna go over each one of these briefly and talk about why I think they work for you guys. So the first one up is MTS Drop Factor. Now this is the stimulant fat burner that is the powerhouse of the stack. It's got the caffeine, it's got all those good ingredients to keep your energy levels high in a caloric deficit. Because once you start cutting those calories and carbs, you're gonna notice a little bit of an energy loss. This is help bringing that back up with those good stimulants, along with the Yohimbine as well. These two are the stimulant powerhouse of the cutting stack and are gonna get you that good energy, that good, um, not only kind of, it's not gonna be a huge weight loss thing. Don't think Roxylene where it's making you jittery and it's just increasing your heart rate to 200 and that's gonna help burn fat. This gives you the energy to get in the gym, do it right and promote those solid, real, long lasting results that don't just jack you up for walking around looking like you're tweaking on stuff. With the Machine Lean, which is a non-stimulant fat burner, you're gonna take it at night. It's gonna help to keep that metabolic rate nice and high using green tea extract. This one is a huge addition that I'm at to my stack that I hadn't really thrown in before, um, and I've been using it lately, and I really like it. You wake up, you're not tired, because it didn't just keep you up all night, but you wake up feeling a little bit more energetic than you did um, than the weeks before, and I think it's really huge to throw in. It doesn't affect your sleep. It's non-stimulant, which sometimes can mean there's still a little bit not with this, you get a really good sleep pattern with it. Don't have to worry about it keeping you up. Along with the L-carnitine, not only does this stuff taste ridiculously good, which you have to control yourself from drinking it all the time, but it gives you that extra little bit of fat mobilization. Now fat doesn't become muscle, the two don't just transfer into each other. Fat gets burnt, that fuel becomes available for muscles, and those muscles grab it, utilizing that fuel as locomotion. This is a fat mobilizer, meaning it helps that process of those muscles grabbing that fuel and utilizing it. So this works really well. Again, it's non-stimulant, so I take one cap full because it's 15 milliliters in the morning, and I take one at night before I go to sleep with my machine lean, and it is awesome. Again, it tastes really good. It's kind of hard to control yourself. Nutrient driver is a glucose disposal agent, which sounds scary or at least a new title of a James Bond movie, but it basically shuttles those carbohydrates from a really high dense meal or a cheap meal into those muscle cells. So I always tell people, because they ask me, when's a good time for a cheat meal? Or when's a good time to have a heavy meal? And I always say, utilize it around a workout. Because if you have, let's say you had my meal from last night, which was a really heavy portion of spaghetti and bread. This in tandem with those carbs is gonna help give you that better carb depth state, which is increasing your exercise potential. So let's say you're kind of getting a little bit tired, you're eating a high carb meal, it's gonna help utilize those carbs to have a more endurance heavy day in the gym. Because the big thing is, if you don't burn it, you store it. This helps to make, maybe minimize the storage of that cheat meal in that high calorie or high carb dense meal or you can utilize it even better and get a good workout from it. This one's huge. I've been a big fan of this since I tried it. Uh, I didn't know how it would work and it sounds like I said a little bit scary, but the pump it gives you from the high carbs before you go to work out is crazy and it's one of my favorite things from MTS along with Vasky. Those two together, I mean your arms just feel like you're gonna explode. It's great. That sounds scary, but it's good. MTS uptake. Now this one is probably the simplest thing that MTX makes. It's just it's just a probiotic. So it's helping maintain that overall gut health. Now a lot of people have suggested that your gut is almost a living entity, just like your brain, to where if you start to really slow down your gut health, it slows down everything above it. Think about if you were to eat out at fast food seven days a week, you just know how, how gross you feel, how sluggish, how tired, it's because it's slowing everything down to try to process all that gross food. It's the same thing with hopefully your nutrition back there is nice and clean, but if it's a little bit wonky, this probiotic is gonna help maintain that overall gut health, get it processed, get it broken down, and get it out. And, and I'll leave you guys to throw in what out means. But 
This helps to increase the efficiency of what you're eating by tearing everything apart, maintaining that overall gut health, and honestly, you just feel cleaner and leaner from it. It's, it's great, it's a huge addition. Plus, there are these little chocolate wafers that look like that. They just taste like little chocolate candies, and it's kind of great. Um, and they're really simple. You take, I take one in the morning, one at night. You could take them all day long. You only have so much probiotic you can ingest, but it's really great. It's something you could throw in. Swoli is the newest edition of the MTS line. It's something I've waited a ridiculously long amount of time for. It is a protein synthesis optimizer. Basically, without getting into anything crazy, it doubles the amount of protein you can ingest at one meal or throughout the entire day accumulative. Now what that means is you could pull back those carbs for fuel, add in a little extra protein for that lean body mass, but not notice that energy depletion because a carb and a cow, or for every one gram of carb and one gram of protein, I'm getting tongue tied here, is four calories. So they're equal fuel densities, but they just enact in the human body differently. One's for building lean body mass, the other one's for energy, but if you could pull away from it and add more towards that protein stack without having any deleterious effects, that means your calories can come down and you can live a little bit, a little bit cleaner. So what's great about this is it increases the bioavailability of your protein, because you can't just do that on your own. If you just drop 100 grams of protein onto each meal, you can only burn so much of that. At least a normal human outside of Brian Shaw can only produce or can break down only so much. And again, if you can't break it down and use it, you store it. So this allows you to stop the storage of extra proteins whilst being able to uptake it, increasing that lean body mass. The more lean body mass creation and maintenance you have, the more fuel is required of it. And it's a very inverse cycle of things. More muscle equals more fat loss. And that's what you want. And then the last thing here is Tyrant, which is a bad estrogen optimizer and a cortisol destroyer. Now you have two types of estrogen, good estrogen and bad estrogen, much like you have various types of testosterone as well. Bad estrogen is something that just is in you that makes you soft. It, it sort of adds to the, I don't wanna say pudgy, but it adds towards the softer side of your conditioning. Just like you would never want to completely kill your estrogen because it's required for parts of the human body, you don't need that bad estrogen. So you could deplete it, this helps to get rid of that bad estrogen or at least optimize it, helping you look a little bit more dense, a little bit harder and increasing that lean gains as well as it shuts down or at least decreases your cortisol levels by 32%. Now cortisol without going into a big scientific thing is a stress hormone. So basically think about the more stress you are, the less you're gonna be sleeping, the less you're sleeping, the less you can work out. There's a lot of stuff that connects to it. So if you could decrease that cortisol level, you can increase not necessarily your happiness, but reduce your stress, which means you could spend longer in the gym, which means you could try a little bit harder on meal prep, which means you can just get better efficiency overall of the human body, which which is great. So all of these look like a big stack, and it is, but I think it's really necessary. Outside of the good nutrition, which is king, like everything in there being clean, that is the king of all this. That is what's gonna enact the large scale cutting effect, as well as the proteins in the cover and the supplements in that cover behind me. But there certainly gets to an apex where your diet's already on par, it can't get any better, your routine's solid, it can't get any better. This is that little top of the pyramid that's gonna get you those extra results because here's the kicker, supplements are just that, a supplement to both of those being on par. So this can really help, and I'm gonna explain why I think it can help very shortly as we're getting close to 10 minutes. So previously in this picture right here, I was roughly 15, maybe 16% body fat, not happy with where I was. I was bulking a little too hard. So I decided, hey, I'm gonna do a competition at my work, because I was a personal trainer, do a two month cutting cycle with everyone else and kind of see what I can get with the expectation of getting to 10% in two months. So from 15 or 16, to 10% in two months. This is what's called an in-body scan. Now, if you've never seen this before, it basically is a scale you send on, or stand on that sends an electrical impulse through you. Science happens and it tells you based off the time it takes from the bolt to get from one side to the other side or a lot of other science magic. It tells you what your body composition is, what your basal maintenance load is, a bunch of other cool statistics. But the main important thing right here is it says that I am, if it's gonna load, 9.1% body fat. So that means from two months, or I should say a little bit less because it's about six weeks, um, that I went from 15 to 16% body fat to under 10, 
9% body fat, exceeding my goal. And I gotta say, I'm really happy with it. The performance in the gym is huge. The, I walk around leaner and meaner, it's great. I'm not trying to compete or anything, I'm just trying to live a lean lifestyle and enjoy those summer gains before we start that, start that bulk back again, because we're gonna get bulk and hopefully get to 225. I tried to get there last time, but I did too much of a dirty bulk, as that picture would indicate, and I wasn't happy with the condition. Starting at the condition I'm at right now and lean bulking up, I have a feeling it's gonna turn out much better. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, again, take a look at the link in the description below for Tiger Fitness for all the in-depth details and collegiate studies for all the supplement stacks. Or you could ask me a question if it's something a little bit more surface level. I'll be happy to answer it. Leave it in that comment section below. Again, thanks for watching everybody. Hopefully you enjoyed. Most importantly though, take it easy.